Do you feel like this is going to be the Titanic? We're in this little market. And, uh, What's it called? El Quin de la Boqueria. Yeah, we're, that's where we're at right now. The Quin de la Boqueria. Having breakfast. I got an omelet, which is very good. It's actually a very good omelet. Al Carnival. 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 Carnival Rojo. Just about to board the Carnival Breeze. Pretty excited. Looks like an amazing ship. Let's get on board and get this party started. Welcome aboard. Hello. This is your captain speaking. We have like to tell you that we are. This is your captain. Captain of the Carnival Breeze. So we are on board the uh, Carnival Breeze. Ready to go party. We're going to take advantage of the safe. I, we haven't had. All of our hotel rooms have not had safe. So we are putting the passports away in the safe. Finally, I've been wearing this money belt for like. Two weeks, now 10, 11 days, and it's, you know, obviously been worth it, but it's going to be nice to not have to wear a money belt when I'm roaming around the cruise. So here we are on the boat, ready to set sail. Erica has her five-year marriage survivor shirt on. Mm -hmm. I've got my five-year marriage survivor shirt on. Look at the shirts that we had made. Alex and Erica from San Diego. Any marriage advice? She's a five-year survivor. I'm a five-year survivor. Honestly, let's see if you could survive five years with her. Woo! I don't know. I don't know. It might be tough. Might be very difficult. Here's our uh, balcony out here. Nice little balcony, nothing special. But definitely nice having a balcony. Don't have much of a view right now. It's kind of, uh, Barcelona has a really large port. It's actually, I believe it's the largest port in the Mediterranean. And uh, as you can see, we've got a lot of cargo ships going through here. So we're gonna go upstairs, get ready to start meeting our fellow cruisers. We've got a muster drill, the lifeboat drill. The lifeboat drill is always important. Gotta do the lifeboat drill. And then we are gonna party, 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 party. So here we are inside the Carnival Breeze. Alex and Erica here. We just got on our cruise ship and all of our liquor that we brought on has arrived. It made it. It survived. Nobody caught it and it's a big thanks to the uh, the company that makes the uh, easy travel. It's like the basically it's a spring break uh, booze kit. So I'll put a link at the bottom of this video. But we put two liters of uh, liquor into our case as you can see. We've got a nice uh, bottle of uh, Red Label here, as well as a nice little bottle of Bacardi. Obviously, it doesn't look like the bottle that you know, but this goes right in. No detection, easy on, and easy consuming. So we're going to have a great week of drinking our drinks here in the Mediterranean. And that's about it. So anyways, I just wanted to give a little testimonial that if you're trying to get liquor onto a cruise ship, the company that sells these items, 
it really does work. They scanned all our bags through x-ray and uh, nothing was detected. So I'll put a link at the bottom of the video on where I bought this. I bought it on Amazon.com. Super easy. Bala, bala, bala! Dance, 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 dance! So we're on the boat. I just had dinner. Getting ready to go up to the show. Then maybe we go to the casino afterwards. Shoot a little dice. Eric is making some drinks with our liquor that we smuggled on board. Making a little, making a little Bacardi. So, should be a great 12 days. Hopefully I'm a good boy and Erica doesn't throw me over the balcony there. Because we do have a nice little balcony. And uh, I don't want to end up in the Mediterranean. No? You just behave and then you'll be fine.